Good evening and thanks for joining us. Happy Mother's Day as well. Some of you are spending the day at brunch. Others were dusting off their bikes for the coming week. Tomorrow marks the start of Bike to Work Week. KXLY Force Allie Norton is working for you tonight with more on the annual tradition and how you can be a part of it. If you thought there was a lot of bikes out already, brace yourself for the next couple days because starting tomorrow, it's Bike to Work yeah. Week. Yeah, I'll be riding each of the five days. Gary Kerr is one of the many who will be cruising around the city this week for the national ride. It happens every May during Bike Month. It's an effort to encourage people to join in on the action, whether it be to save money on gas, for health reasons, to save the environment, or just have fun. While many will hit the streets, even for just one day, others will have to join in on the festivities in spirit. I'm a maintenance person. I have a lot of tools. And you can't do plumbing and electrical and everything else without tools. If you're like Butch Rex and need to drive to work, just make sure to give the people participating Please enough like room on the road, food. especially for those smaller ones. Well, drivers should always watch out for bicyclists. That is going to be even more important these next seven days because on top of it being bike to work week, it's also the start of the commute of the century. It's a tour of Spokane's six bike routes. The trails cover the north, south, east, and west parts of the city and the outskirts and add up to more than 100 miles of riding. We'll really get a lot of camaraderie and, and it'll be a celebration of what we've built over the past five, 10 years. Brandon Blankenagel came up with the idea of the commute of the century. His hope is people who take part will give feedback on the routes so he can relate to the city what needs to be worked on. Now we want to go in and get more than just a network build out, but we want to understand how comfortable people are riding on what we've got in place. It's not too late to join. Log on to SpokaneBikes.net for route information, grab a bike, and put the pedal to the road. I'm Allie Norton, KXLY4 News.